everyone, welcome to Ecoholics. In this video, we will be finding the value of elasticity of substitution in case of Cobb Douglas production function. So, let's get started. In this video, we will be proving that the elasticity of substitution in case of Cobb Douglas production function is equal to 1. So, let's first understand what Cobb Douglas production function is. So, now Cobb-Douglas production function is mathematically represented as Q is equal to A L raised to alpha K raised to beta where Q is our output, L is the quantity of labor employed, K is the quantity of capital employed and we have our three constants that is capital A, alpha and beta are our constants. So now the formula for elasticity of substitution is elasticity of substitution is equal to Proportionate change in K by L ratio upon proportionate change MRTS of L K. MRTS of L K is marginal rate of technical substitution of labor for capital, which means that the rate at which capital has to be reduced for one unit increase in a labor. So this is what is MRTS of L K. Now we know that MRTS of LK is equal to MPL upon MPK. So we are going to find this first. So now we have Q is equal to a L raised to alpha K raised to beta. This is Cobb Douglas production function. Now we have MRTS as MPL upon MPK. So first we will find MPL and then we are uh, going to find MP. So first, marginal product of labor. This is given as DABA Q by DABA L. So partial derivative. Now, when we are differentiating Q with respect to L, we keep K as constant. So A, K raised to beta and Differentiation of L raised to alpha. So, our MPL would be equal to A K raised to beta into differentiation of L raised to alpha. So, now we have this formula. So this is our formula for differentiation. 
So derivative of x raised to n is nx raised to n minus 1. So using this, what we get is alpha l raised to alpha minus 1. So now, further simplifying what we get is a alpha k raised to beta l raised to alpha upon l. Now, this can also be written as alpha a l raised to alpha k raised to beta upon l. So, this term can also be written like this. Why are we writing this? Because a l raised to alpha k raised to beta is a q. So, this becomes equal to alpha q by l. But what is q by l? q by l is average product of labor. That is, this is equal to alpha a p l. So, this is what is a m p l. So, m p l is equal to alpha a p l. Similarly, we will also find marginal product of capital. Now, marginal product of capital will be equal to what? So, before that, we have Q is equal to A L raised to alpha K raised to beta. Now, therefore, a marginal product of capital will be equal to daba q by daba k. And when we are differentiating q with respect to k, we take l as constant. So, this becomes equal to a l raised to alpha. And the only term that we need to differentiate is k raised to beta. Again, we will use this formula of differentiation. So now, what do we get is? We have mpk is equal to a l raised to alpha and this term will be equal to k raised to beta. So, since our n is equal to beta in this case, what we get is beta k raised to beta minus 1. Now, m p k is equal to beta a l raised to alpha k raised to beta divided by k. So, now we can write mpk also like this. So, therefore, mpk will be equal to beta a l raised to alpha k raised to beta upon k. Now, a l raised to alpha k raised to beta is q. So, this becomes equal to beta q by k and q by k is average product of capital. So, this is beta a p k. So, what we have found is our m p l is equal to alpha a p l. 
and our MPK is equal to beta APK. So now, therefore, now what we are going to do is we are going to find our MRTS. So marginal rate of technical substitution of labor for capital will be given like this. MPL upon MPK. But what we have seen is our MPL is equal to alpha APL and our MPK is equal to beta APK. So MPL is alpha APL and MPK is beta APK. So MRTS is equal to alpha APL upon beta APK. So how are we going to simplify this? MRTS is equal to alpha into APL is Q by L divided by beta into APK is Q by K. So therefore, MRTS is equal to, so now QQ gets cancelled. What remains is alpha by beta into k by l. So this is our value of MRTS. Now we are going to use this value of MRTS to find our elasticity of substitution. Now. So elasticity of substitution is proportionate change in capital labor ratio upon proportionate change in marginal rate of technical substitution. So this is given by MRTS of LK upon so this is what is the formula for elasticity of substitution now what we got was MRTS of LK is equal to what so MRTS was equal to alpha by beta into k by l. So this is our formula for marginal rate of technical substitution. So using this, we are going to find elasticity of substitution. ES is equal to So we can also write this as um, in this form. Now, what do we get is? <clears throat> so we can write numerator as it is.
coming on to denominator we have we are going to differentiate this term that is alpha by beta into k by l divided by mrts of lk which is alpha by beta into this was k by l so now further simplifying this let's see what we get the value of elasticity of substitution so in our previous slide we get elasticity of substitution in this form so this is what we get in a uh, what we got in a previous slide so continuing what we get is we get elasticity of substitution as so this remains as it is whole divided by now we need to find the derivative of this term but we know that alpha and beta are constant so we are going to find the derivative of this term over here now the derivative of alpha by beta into k by l so now we know that alpha and beta are constant so we can write this in this manner so what we get over here is alpha by beta into derivative of k by l upon alpha by beta into k by l so these two terms gets cancel now what we have is elasticity of substitution is equal to now this is d that is derivative of k by l upon k by l into now this becomes like this basic math now therefore a uh, elasticity of substitution will be equal to 1 so from this we get elasticity of substitution equal to 1 so this was basic math that k by l k by l gets cancelled and this equals to 1 so what we got is a uh, elasticity of substitution is equal to 1 so we have seen that in case of comb douglas production function the value of elasticity of substitution is equal to 1 so this completes our proof for more such videos do like and subscribe our channel thank you